In this video we're returning back to Windows and we're still kind of in this whole getting started phase and if you're brand new to PHP then a lot of this stuff is being thrown at you and you're probably looking at this saying what have I gotten myself into? Don't worry it should make sense after we get going through and you're going to see it's not as difficult as it may seem to start off with and we've had to set up the server I understand that but what we're going to do is just kind of look at some other things here. I'm going to close out of Notepad++ and I want to focus in on, I'm going to go to start so I'm going to focus in on this file path for where our web server is currently being hosted, the root folder for our web pages. And this is going to be located in the under, under computer. You go to C drive, your WAMP folder, and you can see www, World Wide Web. It will click on that one. And you can see there are two files that are currently in here. Now when we set up our WAMP server, they've already created these two files that are on here. And they're automatically going to be displayed whenever we go to the local host page that we're going to be going to so often throughout the series and the index page is what's going to actually be showing up for us in the first page for the root directory of a web server is usually called index dot something either html or php and that's going to refer to the by default the web server is going to know to grab that page and load that one up as our first page now we're not going to be naming pages as index dot php or index dot html because if we don't name them you'll see that it gives us a list of all the files that we're going to be working with and it's going to make it a little easier for us to work with on this particular series and so what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and create myself a folder here I'm going to choose new folder and this is where I'm going to go ahead and be putting my lessons so, or my, for my series so I'm just going to call this one here just lessons and then I'm going to go ahead and click off of that so that it's created and I've got a folder called lessons now when we open up our localhost page we're going to see that here all of our web pages are going to be stored here in this lessons folder so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this now and let's go ahead and open up our web browser to take a look at it now when the web browser opens up you're going to be typing this in a lot you're going to go ahead and type in localhost and I'll hit enter you can see this is where our WAMP server page is. This is the index page that we just saw while we were looking in our folder. And you can see that now I've got a folder called Lessons and it says your projects here. So everything we're going to be working on is going to be saved to this Lessons folder. If I click on it, there's nothing in here by default that shows up because I have nothing in that particular folder. But I'm going to go ahead and hit back. We want to focus in on that. Speaking of this index page, we're not going to, in this series, focus in on server configuration. The only thing that we're really going to be kind of focusing in on are these two tools that we have right here. The first tool is just the PHP info function that's going to run. If I click on that, this is going to give us a lot of data about the server that I currently have running. And so if you're ever troubleshooting a server and just maybe that there's certain features that are not installed, uh, this page is going to be very useful when it comes to that, especially if you have somebody who's more experienced with a PHP server to know and understand what's going on here and with, with Apache as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and just hit back on this one here. So that this PHP info will let you know what's installed and what's not installed and what versions of the software that you're currently running. The PHP My Admin, I'll go ahead and click on that one now as well. We will be coming to this when we start working with MySQL. And this is the graphical user interface for the database that most typical people will use and it ties it in with a database and so you can see that this information is here I do not need to be in this right now so I'm going to still go ahead and hit back and we will eventually be using phpMyAdmin just to verify a lot of things when it comes to our databases we're going to be creating databases from web pages rather than using this graphical user interface but this does make it easy for us to see and so this is still the introduction here you're going to notice that when we create our pages I'm going to be focusing on dragging this over to the one side, usually to the right side, and this is going to allow us to work with our pages. And I'm going to go ahead now and just click on the Lessons folder. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and start working with Notepad++. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that over here to the left so I can see side-by-side -side comparisons while I'm writing code and understand what's going on. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and hit New. This is the new little icon or File New. You can see a new page comes up. I'll close that change log page. And we can go ahead and create our first PHP page here just to get an understanding of how this is going to work. I'm going to choose File, Save As, and I get the option to save it in a different location. Now I need to navigate to that location that I was talking about, that www folder. And I'm going to click on the computer here, the C drive, and then I'm going to go to the WAMP folder, and then I'll find the www. So I'll go ahead and click in there. 
Now I did mention we're going to save all of our projects in this particular lessons folder, so I'll go ahead and click on that. And for the first page, I'm just going to go ahead and call this one page one dot php a nice simple little page notice the fact that I've ended it in dot php this is going to let us know it is a php page now if you're familiar with any other web programming languages some of the typical ones are html or htm those are going to be your typical pages html pages will not allow us to write php code within them or embed php code within them so the file extension we're going to have to have for all of our pages that are going to contain php code is going to have to be this dot php and I'll just go ahead now and hit save and it'll save that page for us in fact if I refresh this now you can see that there's page one dot php and if you get these little compatibility view uh, messages like I'm seeing here pop up just go ahead and choose don't show this message again there we go and so you can see some of these little icons aren't showing up just because of the fact of it being on my local computer and for security reasons this browser is not letting them show up but however I can still see my pages and we're going to go ahead and work on that as we go through this so here's page one if I click on it nothing shows up on page one and the reason being is because there is nothing here on page one and in the next video we're going to actually start talking about some of the syntax that's going to be required for our PHP page so I'm going to go ahead and leave this setup here to start with my next video.